Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, this time featuring a couple fashion illustrations using the Fashionary Watercolor Postcard Set. I haven't done fashion illustration videos here on my channel for the longest time. If you've been a long time subscriber of mine, you definitely would have been around the old fashion illustration videos. So I'm pretty excited to actually be sharing this video with you guys because I'm hoping that it will kickstart more fashion illustration related videos here on my channel in the future. Fingers crossed. I will also be unboxing a new fashionary product here on this video, so stay tuned for that. It actually inspired the illustrations that you are seeing right now. If you guys didn't know, I am actually an affiliate of Fashionary, so I do want to thank Fashionary for sending over the new product. I also have a discount code which you guys can use for any purchase of a Fashionary product on their website. So the code is Zyra10. It gives you 10% off your entire purchase of Fashionary products on their website, Fashionary.org. And if you didn't know what Fashionary is, they're basically known for their amazing sketchbooks, which I have made a review video on. So I will link that in the card section of this video so you guys can check it out if you are interested. But that will not be the topic of today's video. Today's video, I am featuring their latest product, which they just launched this October. It is called Textilepedia, and it is a complete guide for everything that has to do with fabrics and textiles. So let's start with the unboxing, then I'll kind of give you an impression that I have with the book, any positive or negative reviews that I have for it. And then I will also talk about how this relates to my second university degree, which is costume design. Now with the packaging. So the book comes in this cute drawstring bag, which I think is a nice added touch for their packaging. I'm not entirely sure if all Fashionary products come in this packaging, but I have received a previous product from Fashionary as well that came in a drawstring bag, and it was very useful. I use it a lot for traveling, so I love this nice touch. Inside the bag, there's the book, and there's also this blue plastic sleeve, which contains their limited edition silk printed scarf. It is so soft, so gorgeous, and I absolutely love the illustrations that are printed on the scarf. It is amazing. Unfortunately, they only actually have this scarf as a freebie to the first 1,000 customers to purchase Textilepedia. But Fashionary just yesterday announced that all 1,000 scarves are gone. So if you're planning to purchase Textilepedia from today and in the future, you won't be getting the limited edition silk scarf, unfortunately. It's so beautiful. I wish that you guys can have it as well when you're purchasing the book. However, the book is amazing on its very own. It's got this beautiful fabric cover, an embroidered title, which from a design perspective, I think they just nailed it. It's totally fitting to the theme of the book and it looks Instagram worthy. You could use it as a decoration for your library, your coffee table, your shelf, your workspace, your office, your studio. It's just gorgeous. So they also have the sides painted in this blue color because I think that's the theme that they have for this particular book. They also have the pages which have the blue text printed on them, as well as the chapter pages in this beautiful blue color. And then the pages are also really thick, which I feel like just set a new standard when it comes to books like this, because the fact that the pages are thick just makes it feel like it's high quality. Inside the book, there's also high quality images of the fabrics and the different materials that they talk about, such as the different fibers and things like that. Now, the book does not include actual 
real fabrics inside the pages. That's just not possible, especially for mass production. So they only offer high quality prints. However, I do really like the fact that um, they've laid it out in such a way that it shows you the texture, the thickness. They've included more than one example of some of the fabrics in different colors and different patterns, things like that. I thought it was just really helpful. One thing that I wish that they could have added as well that would be very helpful for me, and I'm not sure if this would be helpful for other people as well, I think it will, but um, if they could have included images of dresses or shirts or furniture that were made by designers or people using a specific fabric. For example, if they had a page on organza, they have the swatch there. They have the application on how this fabric is commonly used, whether it's used for gowns, for dresses, this, that, blah, blah, blah. And then if they also had images underneath that of an organza dress, or an organza shirt, or I don't know. And then having that kind of just helps me visualize the fabric in a larger scale as well, because you do have a swatch. But even though knowing that it's lightweight or it's heavyweight, um, it would still be nice to really see it in its true application. So like I said, I don't know if that would be helpful for other people, but it would definitely be helpful for me. And the reason why this came up is because I was actually creating the illustrations inspired by Textilepedia. I decided to grab some fabrics that I saw on Textilepedia, fabrics that I've never heard of in my entire life, and I was trying to search for a dress that I could illustrate. I was on Pinterest and I just type in the fabric name and then I put the word dress or gown right after it and then I click search. Now a lot of the images that were showing up did not have the name of the fabric in the description which kind of makes sense. I don't know maybe a lot of people didn't really know that the fabric existed as well but it just made it hard for me to visualize what the fabric would look like as a gown or as a dress. So that's just my two cents. Either way, I do think that Textilepedia offers a lot of information and really good information, especially if you are within the field of fashion, fashion design, or costume design. So if you are interested in purchasing Textilepedia, as well as any products from Fashionary, such as the postcard that I'm using in this video or the sketchbook that I mentioned earlier in this video, I will link all of those in the description box and you can definitely use my code, which is Zyra10, shown here on the screen, for 10% off your entire purchase on their website. That's 10% off using my code Zyra10. And once again, those are all in the description box down below. So like I said earlier in the video, I will be talking about my experience with costume design as a degree. And that kind of ties in with Textilepedia because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to own this book in the first place. Vicky from Fashionary contacted me about a product that they were trying to launch and if I was interested. And I was like, yes, please. I am currently studying my second university degree this time it is on costume design. And we had this assignment in my costume making class where we had to um, analyze a costume render from a costume designer and identify the fabrics that they wanted the costume made of. After that, we then had to source the fabric, find out information about said fabric, and more specifically information on how you can actually make the costume with the fabric, um, sewing techniques, um, other techniques that you would need specifically for that fabric. So that information I had to research and I'm not very good at researching. So it was very hard for me to actually do the assignment. And when I found out about this product, I was like, I wish I had this when doing my assignment. It would have made it so much easier to have one source of information that is all about fabrics. I was trying to find information on the internet and it was from a lot of different sources here and there. And 
I was also basing it around information that I knew. So I could only really search for fabrics that I knew existed. I didn't know half of the fabric types that was mentioned in Textilepedia, and they would have been useful for my assignment had I known they existed in the first place. So that is why I wanted to actually have Textilepedia in my possession, because I think it will be very useful for me with this degree. I highly doubt that that would be the first and last kind of fabric sourcing costume assignment that we do. So I am looking forward to future assignments where I can just bust this out, bring this to my university when we're out of lockdown here in Melbourne and use it as a guide for assignments like that in the future. And I think it'll also be very helpful for me um, as I try to establish a career in that field. Now, I haven't really talked about this new degree here on my channel, and I'm not entirely sure if that's something that you guys are interested in listening to. Um, I know a lot of people back then requested for me to do um, videos talking about my experience with architecture, which was my very first degree. I didn't really talk about that um, because... <laughs> Sad to say, but also, long story short, I am not an architect. I did not end up as an architect. I am working as a freelance graphic designer, so I didn't really make use of that degree. So that's kind of long forgotten. But anyway, some people also requested for me to talk about my experience with graphic design, and I did briefly, but that video didn't really do well. So now I'm kind of like curious if you guys would actually like to see a video of me talking about my experience with costume design and my experience with university at the moment. I would like to include that in a studio vlog here and there, but I'm not entirely sure if that's content that you guys are willing to see. So let me know in the comments down below and maybe I can share my experience, um, any thoughts that I have so far with that degree. I don't see a lot of videos specifically about costume design. So I think that that would be some great content that I can um, contribute here on YouTube. I am also doing costume design specifically for live theater or live performance. It's different to study costume design for film. Those are two different mediums. But as a costume designer for live performance, I can also do costume design for film and television and vice versa, I believe. So yeah. Like I said, let me know if you guys would like to see more content from me regarding that topic. Now, with the illustrations, like I said, I wanted to illustrate fabrics um, that I saw from the Textilepedia book. And because I was having a hard time actually searching for the fabrics that I wanted to include, I decided to just go for the basic ones that I already knew. Um, it was just easier to find dresses for reference. And that's what we ended up with. There are only two videos that you are seeing for the illustrations, but so far I have made four and I kind of want to continue making um, a few more, post them on Instagram and also post them on my shop as original postcards or original watercolor postcards. So maybe you want to purchase an original art from me, but the only ones that I have there are around the hundred ranges. This one's going to be a lot cheaper than that because it's relatively small. So I will be putting that up in my shop as well as other, um, uh, other ones or other illustrations that I create in the future. Also, just on that topic as well, I am currently preparing for a new shop update with a lot of products coming to you guys next month, hopefully just before the year ends. So stay tuned for that. And with everyone that's purchased from my shop, I just want to say thank you so much for your support towards um, my art and this thing that I'm trying to establish here. I really, really appreciate it. And I think that's about it for me with this video. So I'm just going to end that there. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope that you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this product, of the illustrations, or of content that you would like to see from me in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. 
push that notification button so you know when I upload next. And also feel free to share this video. That truly helps me out to get my channel back up and running. So thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in my next one.